for the Stuart 10V steam engine. I thought these were going to be quite simple, actually they ended up being quite tricky, but I got it done in the end. So if you want to stick with me, we'll have the machining process and then the first turning of the flywheel on the steam engine at the end of the video. I'm turning the bearings on the same mandrel I turned the flywheel and uh, it's just essentially a series of turning operations. Uh, I've already bored the centre so it's a case of turning this diameter down um, to end up with a shoulder and then the other to a slightly different length and after that I've tidied this up quite a bit of a file, there's more to go. Um, this phosphor bronze is just not easy stuff to machine. Having turned the bosses on the end of this and reamed and bored it, the, the last thing to do on these is to drill out these three holes. The two on the outside are 7BA clear, but I'm actually going to drill them for 7BA tapping because I'm going to use them to spot through onto the sole plate. Um, and the middle one is just an oil hole, but I'm going to drill that 5BA tapping size and then tap it 5BA and I'm going to make my own oilers to stick in there. Probably about time that I fix the sole plate onto the box bed. There's already these moulded in uh, centre holes for the fixing the sole plate to the box bed. So I'm just going to use those and drill in 7BA tapping size all the way through. And then I will be drilling the top 7BA clear, threading the bottom half. I'm using the Harold Hall jigs and fixtures underneath. Um, in this case, just to securely hold the sole plate to the box bed while giving me all this access that I need to drill these holes. <laughs> 